The transition delay property enables you to introduce a time delay between when the change that initiates the transition is applied to an element and when the transition begins. For example, here I have a div that has a height of 200 pixels and a width of 50%. And when you hover over it, its width will change to 80%. So we did it by writing these lines of code within the hover pseudo class selector and here we can see that we are setting the width to 80%. And within this declaration block, we set the transition property to width and we have a 0.5 second in the transition duration. Now what if you don't want your transition to start immediately when you hover over this element? Well, there is the transition delay property that you can use to set a delay. The default value for this property is 0 second. That's why we have no delay. The transition starts immediately. But if you set here, let's say, 2 seconds. Now, if you hover over this div, the transition will not happen immediately. It will wait 2 seconds, then the transition will start.